Hello everybody, my name is Pooks. Now, many of you have been asking about how and where I got this outfit. As some of you know, this outfit is obtained by making well-produced tutorials about features in Rec Room. If your tutorial gets featured on the Community Tutorial section of the Rec Room official YouTube page, you receive this outfit. Since this was announced, many of you fine people have put your knowledge out there and have made tutorials. I've been sifting through some of them and have noticed a lot of trends. Today I'm here to talk about what, in my opinion, and what I've heard from some AG support members makes a good tutorial. I feel since Against Gravity likes my first tutorial enough to feature it, I'm somewhat qualified to say what I'm about to say. So, without further ado, the three steps to making a professional rec room tutorial. Please note that this is all my opinion. This is not an official guide by Against Gravity. These tips are not the only way to make tutorials. Step 1. Picking a topic. When making a tutorial, it's best to pick a topic and stick with it. There are so many things to do in Rec Room, from making circuit machines to playing dodgeball and everything in between. Don't go into your tutorial thinking you'll tell your viewer everything there is to know about Rec Room. Pick something small and something you have a lot of knowledge on. If you're talking about variable chips, only talk about variable chips. Don't switch to state chips or using the build features on the maker pen. Staying on topic will keep your audience engaged and make sure they don't get confused or get distracted. Personally, I suggest writing out a script or a guideline going over everything you'll say in your tutorial. This helps you stay on track and makes filming a lot easier and faster. Step 2. Getting the right shots. The next step, in my opinion, is very important. But since it deals with the streaming camera, I'm going to split the segment up into two parts. First I'll talk about PC recording, and then move on to the PS4 aspect of things. If you're on PC, I suggest using still streaming camera shots as much as possible. While it may seem like a great idea to have your viewers see a first-person view so they can catch every little detail, in reality, first-person points of views in VR are shaky and quickly become disorienting. I personally suggest the streaming camera be placed over your shoulder looking down on you as you build, if your build tutorial is based on the maker pen. However, a first-person shot every now and then can be used to emphasize certain details you're making. For other tutorials, make sure the streaming camera can see whatever it is you're talking about and is in a nice angle and location. Moving on to the PS4 side of recording, of course you don't have access to the streaming camera, so first-person shots are all you've got. First and foremost, I emphasize being careful. When recording your tutorial, move your head slowly and avoid shaking it rapidly. This will keep your audience from getting disoriented or confused on what the focus is. Also, since the PS4 records a zoomed-in view of what you're actually seeing, make sure whatever you're recording is well seen and farther out in front of you than it normally would be. Step 3. Editing both video and thumbnail. Now, I know not everyone has the full Adobe Premiere editing suite and is a professional editor. That's not what I'm saying you need. All I'm saying is pick up a free editor that can splice some clips together. Being able to cut out mistakes, edit out awkward silences, and even add some music will greatly enhance your tutorial rather than posting 9 minutes of unedited footage. As for the thumbnail, I'm not asking you all to go out and buy Photoshop. I simply suggest using one of the many online and free alternatives. Searching Photoshop online brings up many programs that can add a filter to a picture, overlay some text, and without even needing to download anything. A thumbnail will make your tutorial just that bit more professional looking. Now before I go, I wanted to touch on two other things. Generally, these tutorials shouldn't be incredibly long. Keep them short and sweet. There isn't a specific length to keep your tutorial under, but just keep time in mind. Secondly, try to make original tutorials. Look to see if your idea is already out there, 
and if it is, try to build on the previous tutorials rather than restating too much information. Well, there you have it. My little insight on how to make a Rec Room tutorial. Thank you all so much for watching this tutorial about tutorials. I hope this helps people with making their own tutorials. Also, don't forget to head over and check out my cinematography and Rec Room tutorial as well if you're looking to record other things in Rec Room. Also, check out my skit content and all my socials and Discord. Links in the description. And until next time, bye!